All right. So we'll be discussing our third module. And our third module is all about linear and nonlinear applications of op-amp. So for this afternoon, um, we'll realize that op-amps find applications both in linear and nonlinear circuits. As for the linear applications of op um, so these are the things that we needed to consider. Of course, um, we have the amplifiers. As for the amplifiers, we have two types, the inverting amplifier and the non-inverting amplifier. So basically, for the inverting amplifier, the op amp amplifies the input signal with an inverted output. On the other hand, for the non-inverting amplifier, the op amp amplifies the input signal with a non-inverted output. So, easy to understand lang naman yung distinctions between these two types of amplifiers. As for the voltage follower, the op-amp output follows the voltage at the non-inverting input. It provides unity gain or gain is equal to 1 and is used for impedance matching and isolation. Summing amplifier combines multiple input signals with different weights to produce a single output signal. From the name itself, um, summing. So you needed to combine um, input signals. Integrator naman produces an output signal that is the integral of the input signal with respect to time. So usually, we use um, sine wave and cosine wave to represent integrator. Differenti differentiator, on the other hand, produces an output signal that is the derivative of the input signal with respect to time. And the voltage comparator compares two input voltages and produces a high or low output depending on the relative magnitudes. So it's often used in digital circuits. Instrumentation amplifier used for precise amplification of small differential signals commonly employed in measurement equipment. Active filters naman utilizes op-amps in filter configuration. So we have the low-pass, high-pass, band-pass, etc. for signal processing applications. I guess you also have subject ng signal processing. So you'll be discussing also about filtering techniques. Pero this filtering technique, especially the low-pass filter, this is commonly used ayan, na technique in filtering the noise. And then we also have the voltage regulator. Op amps can be used in voltage regulator circuits to maintain a stable output voltage. So, nire regulate yung voltage to your desired um, output value. As per the nonlinear applications naman ng op amps, so basically these are the nonlinear applications. Also, we have the voltage comparator specific for the hysteresis. So it introduces hysteresis in the voltage comparator, preventing rapid switching near the threshold voltage. So meron tayong um, set na threshold voltage and then dapat hindi siya magugo beyond that threshold voltage. And then the Schmidt trigger, it acts as a bistable circuit with two threshold levels creating a switching behavior. Yung Schmidt trigger parang a buffer circuit din to. And then we have the zero crossing detector that detects when a signal crosses zero volts, often used in pace lock loops or PLL and frequency counters. Other applications are logarithmic amplifier. So it produces an output voltage that is logarithmically proportional to the input voltage. Another is the precision rectifier rectifies AC signals with low distortion and is used in precision rectification applications. We also have voltage to frequency converter that converts an analog voltage input into a frequency output. Window comparator compares whether an input voltage is within a predefined window and provides corresponding output states. While the peak detector naman captures and holds the peak value of an input signal until reset. So these are some of the similarities and differences between the linear and nonlinear applications of operational amplifiers or op-amps. So as we can see in the table, we have the features 
we have the linear applications and the nonlinear applications. So as per the nature of output response, sa linear application, there is a, re a linear relationship between input and output. Unlike for the nonlinear applications, of course, there is nonlinear relationship between input and output. Typical applications, as mentioned earlier, only um, simplified in this table. For the linear applications, we have amplifiers, integrators, differentiators, and filters. So, lahat naman to ang um, cover natin sa mga experiments natin for the linear applications. And for the nonlinear applications, we also have comparators, Schmidt triggers, logarithmic amplifiers, and so on. As for the output functionality, so linear amplification and signal processing, and then nonlinear signal conditioning and switching. Amplification, precise and controlled linear amplification. Siyempre, sa nonlinear naman, nonlinear amplification for specific behaviors. As per the mathematical operations, so we use addition, subtraction, and multiplication in some cases for the linear application. And for the nonlinear applications, we use comparisons, rectification, and logarithmic functions. Kaya nga, mas mahirap ng konti yung sa nonlinear applications natin. As for the feedback configuration, so frequently used with feedback for stability yung linear. Yun namang sa nonlinear, feedback may be used but not always required. In terms of signal processing for the linear application, so it is used for various linear signal processing tasks and nonlinear applications commonly used for nonlinear signal processing. Common applications of linear applications are instrumentation amplifiers, filters, and amplifiers, and comparators, oscillators, and linear detectors for the common nonlinear applications. In terms of stability, linear applications are typically designed for stable and predictable behavior. Unlike for the nonlinear, of course, it may involve intentional instability for switching. Kaya nga medyo mahirap yung modeling technique if we are using nonlinear. Misan, you have to derive an equations pa for you to um, get the desired output or even obtain the desirable transfer function. In terms of the operational characteristics, linear applications follows linear operational principles while nonlinear applications may exploit nonlinear operational characteristics. So in simple terms, linear applications involve using op-ums in configurations where the output is a linear function of the input, maintaining a linear relationship between the two. Nonlinear applications, on the other hand, exploit the op-ums characteristics to produce nonlinear functions of the input, allowing for applications like switching and signal conditioning. The choice between linear and nonlinear applications depends on the specific requirements of the electronic circuit. 